ャカーチャカーマイチャカーデリゴーヘイヘイアダーセンオーライトレッアーシーエンレミプッツリンクインディスコードギミワンモメント Where is my Discord stuff? Where's all my. I'm bugging out. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. There it is. Did that. Uh huh. Cancel. Let's see. Let me hit refresh. There we go. Copy my link. Put it in the Discord. And hit send. All right, all right, all right. Let me put this over here so I can see it. All right. Let me also look at my screen and make sure I can see, see, see. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what Sirius Kid. Goddamn, I still have some beanie babies. <laughs> Been trying to see if their worth would go up, especially since they are tangible. True, very true. Speak. Uh, so tangible atoms, uh, items are going out of style. The new thing is virtual items now, huh? Did you all see the invisible NFTs on sales? Da, da, da. Yeah, the 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 pet rocks, the pet rock stuff. Yeah. Yeah, for a million bucks for a pet rock. That's insane to me, man. Effing insane. People are buying. Yeah, people are really buying these, these pet rocks. And yeah, so, okay. Oh, what's up, everybody? Sorry, I just jumped right into reading stuff. Um, What up, everyone? Welcome to Toxic Hustle. Welcome to Crypto Plunder. Uh, yesterday... I was doing a, you know, a video talking about blockchain gaming. The fact that we have a blockchain channel getting ready to roll out. Um, link is in the description. Uh, I wanted to start looking at the feasibility of what's going on in this space because I, the same way that I saw my space, or the same way that I saw Napster, where for that minute in that moment in time, Napster was like one of the most serious um, threats to the music industry I had seen. But for me, as a as an independent artist, I was like, holy crap, I could get my music to everybody. And then they took that away, right? All the eyeballs left because nobody wanted to get caught up with the whole... You know, ISPs were banning people and, and lawsuits from the record industry. So they shook and scared people away from shit. So they always scare us away from tech. Why? Why do they scare you from the tech? But then you watch the money. Like, that's the first thing I ever really learned working at a bank, right? When I got into a bank as a web designer, the, when I, 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 since I was in the door and I was looking, I didn't know how long I was going to be in that door. I watched everything I could. I would study to see how they worked, what was going on in there, how, how did the, you know, what was their mentalities like? And I asked questions and ended up getting hired just because I was inquisitive. But they didn't understand why I was inquisitive because, look, you're not an employee. That's what they want you to be. You're not a ward of the state, even though you are in legal form, you are. But no, nah, this, this whole business that we've been living has been the lie anyway. Ain't they burned down our towns? Didn't we have a Tulsa? Didn't we have a Black Wall Street? Now, everybody want to have Black Wall Street back, but ain't nobody really want to have Black Wall Street back. You don't just say, I got Black Wall Street. What, what does that mean? Well, Wall Street of the time or of any time is you investing in businesses making profitable money. Right? So 
one of the reasons for the recording was I want to get back on the blockchain gaming space because this play to earn thing is going to be big just because I know it in in intrinsically because I worked for a gaming company in my mind that's how I placed it because it was the only way I could make it be feasible for other people to understand when I worked inside second life I couldn't just say I'm playing in a video game and I'm making money but that's what I was doing but what I would say is I work inside a game I work for I work in with a I work with a gaming company I design stuff for inside the game, the things that the I design the 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 clothes and the fashion that the avatars wear. And that became my business model. That and I was getting paid by when people buy, I could cash out. They had an exchange and the exchange was 266 linden to 1 US dollar and I could get it to PayPal. And with PayPal I had a debit card and I could swipe and pay for my church's chicken, which I cannot eat anymore just because that was some greasy yeesh. So I was in the stock market for a while and I got out. So Sirius is saying, he was asking me about, you know, if the market is expected to crash, would buying options Betting on these corporations to lose monies help individuals stay afloat. And I am under the impression of never giving you any strategy in which you've got to only rely on hope because I can't rely on hope. I've lost money that way. And at this point in time, the amount of revenue, I've got a parent I got to take care of now, right? And my parent didn't plan for having a disability. Alzheimer's is a disability. My parent never planned for that. The cost, having talked to lawyers now for what her care is going to be like in the future, can easily be in the $10,000 range per month. Right now, what's going on in the world is, as I said in yesterday's video, these pensions are getting ready to get washed out. So our elderly who believed in this system don't understand that it was a Ponzi scheme from the jump. They believed in the American hype machine, or they called it the American dream. You know, the picket fence and the 2.5 kids crap, right? But that ideology is spread across the world it's a dream i dream of genie type beats so what i always have to do is find some practical way to make money when i got into computers to appease my family who are west indian west indian that means you're still indian because islanders always considered North America mainland. Always had family back and forth. That's the stories I've been being told. So this, this ideal that the people from the Caribbean are infiltrators, well, that's not really too much of a true story, is it? That's a great way to divide and conquer and continue to divide and conquer if you can keep the natives that are off land off island, off mainland, and the ones on mainland feuding with themselves. Same bullshit script. My thing is I always look at what the future is going to be. So I said, what? Um, I'm not going to bet on any options because we've got a halvening cycle. And I give a chart and I showed what happened in 2017 and the fact that this crashed. And if I'm going to do anything, I'm a short in December. Put my money into USDC, right? As I've been saying over and over again, it's not like I'm doing anything new. I repeat the same things because it's the same formula. Bitcoin follows a pattern. Yellow, yellow. All these are, are, are months that have seasonal dips. Once I go into USDC, I might 
short the market because I know it's going to crash in January, which is what I show here. When there's a seasonal spring dip and it crashes in January and falls all the way down to March, April timeline, right? And then I'll buy there. And there's another one in November of that same year that drips even farther, right? Drip down even further down. That's what happened the year, the cycle beforehand did the same exact thing. So I'm following a super cycle pattern. This is a super cycle, just the way it is. Data is data. Bitcoin is a machine. Machine spits out data. You read the data. If you see a pattern, that's just the way it is. We can't really just try to, we don't try to gleam too much shit into it. There's already a pattern inside the system. The system's doing something. And they just use the news to scare people in and out of the market to make it a preconceived notion at a grander scale than it needs to be because they want to buy low, sell high. So my thing is, is that I was saying that, you know, he was talking about where's this depression that everybody's talking about, right? For this great depression. And I said, you got to look at the supermarkets right now. Go to the grocery store. If you uh, look at a organic chicken, because that's a real good bellwether because they can still fool you with crappy meat and keep it reasonably priced. But if you want premium meat, if you just keep an eye on premium meats, that lets you know how supply is doing and to demand on premium meats. So if you go over there, you look at the chickens there and the chickens have almost doubled in price. They were coming down for a bit but now organic chicken is back to $14, $15, like when they were first introduced. So that's how I watch. I watch vegetables, especially organic vegetables. You know, you don't want to get all those pesticides. You don't want it to be all these weird ass seeds and stuff, even though, of course, they still BS with that. But at least you're limiting your intake. The best you can do is this. Those prices have gone up. We've got shrinkflation. Shrinkflation is a thing where the costs on the boxes remaining the same, but what your the package, the weight, the volume that you're receiving is shrinking. We talked about that in other videos. So we already know that there is a systematic inflating of our dollar hyperinflation because they're printing 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 they're trying to slow it down now but they've been printing 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 and they put a lot of money in the system these they went into a stock market these ceos at some point in time have to do earnings if i have a bunch of printed money because i didn't have nowhere else to put it i can't leave it in the bank it's just going to go to bills I need to try to make some money because I can't really make money. So while I'm getting these checks, oh, let me stick it in the market. That's what everybody's been thinking. I haven't been accepting these checks. I haven't been requesting these checks. Through this entire thing, I've been focusing on my ability to earn. Why? Because I didn't want to get gassed out because I already knew the problem. I write computer automation scripts, macros, things that make machines move on their own on a desktop, fill their own forms, uh, grab data from websites called web scraping, use that data to be able to put it in a database to do other things with it. That doesn't need human interaction and interjection. This is just data and then what your business does with the data. You Before we would have a bunch of people in front of that process. Let's have a bunch of meetings to talk about this shit. That's what I realized when I was working for these companies, that most of their life's a meeting. And if you're getting paid $30 to $40 to $50 an hour, that's a high expense to do nothing but talk about what you're going to do to solve a problem that you should have solved over a year ago. These companies are five years behind. Every company I worked in when I walked into the door was five years behind me. I, I like they were just getting into WordPress. I had already been working on WordPress. That's why I was proficient enough to get the job. Plus, I was doing things with PHP they weren't able to do and was right. I was able to build them applications out of Dreamweaver. 
that they didn't know was possible. All the while, their dev team said they're going to give them some type of technology to give them some way to generate the catalogs, and I did it in a year. I still don't think they have the software yet, and I've been gone for almost 10 years. They're still using my technology today. They're still using my tech. That's why I left, because I wasn't getting paid enough. Making them millions of dollars and wasn't getting paid. But you're still using my software today. So that's what I mean. The jugs is up, y'all. We've been behind all the technology. We've been behind all of the swag, all of the good music, all of the trends, all of the everything. We've been the engine, as Malcolm X said. We are the cog within the wheel that can, can destroy the machine at any moment. But we don't. Why? Because this is our freaking home. At some lower level portion of our spirit, we realize this is home and destroying home is stupid. We realize somewhere innately that this belongs to us. And the truth is coming out that it does belong to us. So why burn your own house? That's stupid. What, to get rid of the rats? No, 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 no. You just got to set better bait. Or you let them exterminate themselves. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Like the good book says, stay the hell out the way. We have to learn how to create our own services, our own products, which we've always had to do. And we always did. We stayed to ourselves, minded our own businesses, and then they came and burned our towns down. We could make our own money. We've been doing it. This is our nature. It's in our blood to be commerce people. We ain't riding around chasing lions, tigers, and bears, oh my. Unless we were pimping them for the skins. Back when it was novel to do that. You've seen the pictures in the 3 a.m. room in the Discord. We were swarthy people. So my thing is always look at the technology. Where is the money going? Right? I'm going to get to how we can start getting into these play to earn games. But the first thing, the reason why I'm even thinking about games as an option is work is going to be automated, y'all. I am doing it for companies now. And I'm telling you, I am throwing up the warning, warning, warning. I am a programmer who is now doing flow based programming, which means I drag and drop shit to build robots. Here, I will remind y'all again the software that is completely effing free that you can install on your Windows slash Mac machines, n8n.io, and just go here and look at the apps that it connects to And you'll see this thing connects to everything. Airtable, that's a database. Uh, AWS, right? So I can just write to a database right on Amazon. Could I not just build an app? Could I not just build an app if I'm writing straight to the database? Uh, exactly what I'm doing right now. I'm writing right to a database right now. I told y'all I'm writing to a, a, a MongoDB right now. That's why I said I wrote the back end to a new system already. Right? Look, this robot connects to a banner making software, Amazon Web Services. I can put things on, I can shorten URLs. I can stick things in Dropbox, right? I can make an application like Bubble. I can have Bubble, an application, run and talk to all the stuff like CoinGecko. I can, this is how I found CoinGecko. And one of the reasons I use it on every damn show is I can now get data from this and use it for other things. I can create services. I create products. Zip files up, right? 
I can um, do stuff with date and time, deep learning. So I can do machine learning. I can put things in Discord, right? I can start pumping things out in a more automated way, like my the stuff that like, I'm going to be pumping things in the Discord. Also have my own Discord channel, so I'm going to be putting some of my alerts in there from things that the algorithm pops out and says, hey, this is happening. Like when it's time for GPU prices, what's the best time to get in on GPUs? That's what I'm going to be working on. Right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Eventbrite. So I can do Facebook stuff, right? I can work with Facebook. I can work with content systems. I can do database stuff, um, development work and GitHub. Work with BigQuery, Google, that's more data. C calendar, I can set up schedules, calendars, um, automated scheduling of calendars and, and, and MailChimp. I can send out mails, mailings, add people to mailing lists. Uh, this, that database I told you about, that system I told you about, boom, this is cooks right into this system. So now I can have this robot talk right to this. And again, in a very visual way. So I'm not programming anymore. I'm getting to application. See, MongoDB. Somebody fills in a form. If it's da 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 da. Do this, transform it with GraphQL, and stick it in a database. If not, stick it in Slack. And then I could send it in Slack, and that's a Slack is an uh, uh, a workplace for people to work together. It's a team work area. Businesses, major businesses use this. So again, this is a system for automating business processes work. This they don't even know about. Why am I getting into play to earn games? Because what are you going to do? Unless you're doing this with me, unless you're on this end and starting to do this side of the business, like I have automation in my in my um my my resume, my CV. I have all this, but the fact I do automation in there. I don't tell them what the hell software I'm using because I'm still not 100 percent on this software, but I have other automation tools. I have three others. And Power Automates on Windows. So I'm telling you, there's no desk work going to be there. And I showed last night the fact that forklifts are automated now. Truck driving is going to be automated. Uh, food service is going to be automated. So and the farms are automated now. Right. So I didn't show that last night. But now there's farming. Oh, you just, oh, I wasn't even trying. Hold on. And I just saw this really quick. Boom, drones to handle pesticides. They even have drones now that are shooting lasers to kill weeds without robots are the, are, are the new farmland, farm hands. See? That's why Bill Gates is in farming now. Because it's he, he, they're working on the tech. So they don't need people. So ask yourself, what are you going to be doing? How are you paid? Yeah. The only thing they've got is fast food, right? And then... Oh, you can work at McDonald's, right? McDonald's robots. No, you can't. Mm -mm 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 -mm. McDonald's and other chains are giving their drive throughs the Jetsons treatment. This was in February. Okay. So what is going on? What's the Jetsons treatment? Notice something different about the voice that takes the orders. Welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? While the voice sounds helpful, it is stilted and monotonous enough for the average customer to figure out they are beginning or they are being served by a computer, not a human. Speed up its service. 
this is going to be a preconceived notion because they can't get people to work. And they're having to raise their prices. As I said last night, I, I, I was told that like, some places are offering up to $30. Automated drive through McDonald's automation. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Automated drive through using artificial intelligence software. Test automated drive through ordering technology. So they're beginning. Pilot automated drive through orders. So they're already piloting it. Digital strategies taking center stage. Voice analytics, robotic process automation. Robotic process automation. What did I tell you? RPA. They're getting ready to automate every single back end process. I told you, these robots, the way we can program them now, how we can get them to do things, these, the how you make a burger is is really simple how you fry fries is really simple how you can tell the temperature of everything how you, all of that it's really configurable like down to laser sensitivity now right we got laser testers why am i looking into the play to game earning space because the earning space that we currently have, even down to you getting a job at McDonald's, ain't going to be there. You're not driving forklifts. You're not going to be driving trucks. You're not flipping burgers. You're not even going to do coffee because they've already got coffee machines that can work on their own. They've got automatic robots. So even, uh, let's say, robot coffee. Right? There you go, barista, robot barista serve coffee. So even if you think you can go work at Starbucks and be a, a, a barista, nah, that's a wrap. Why am I looking at play to earn gaming? Because I believe that like DeFi in the blockchain space made sense for being able to get on financial transactions It also brought about the fact that we now have uh, um, a way to earn interest, right? We can say, hold on to your coins, earn interest for it. Hold on to your coins for this network to do something for you. Let the network make its money. These things that you're investing in, if you're investing properly, should be networks. I am looking at the back end to the next Microsofts, the next Googles, the next Amazons. But at the same time, we're looking at new bank structures, right? When we're dealing with this. So you're looking at like the new PayPal. If you're looking at Coinbase being PayPal now. So if I have a Coinbase card and I can cash out, by swiping it to eat, just like I did in the past, then I have an exit strategy. Yes, I can put money into Coinbase from my bank account, so I have an enter strategy, but I now have an exit strategy, meaning I can now earn USDC, some way, somehow, swipe my card and just eat. So now my focus is, well, how do I earn the USDC? I can convert any coin I want into USDC. All right, so there's my exit. Now, I've just shown y'all all the physical. If you have, if you missed it, you just logged in. Thank y'all for being here. We are going to start looking at the play to earn gaming space, but I wanted to at least show why I'm even looking at it. I'm looking at the play to earn space because the physical analog of our money is dried up. These are truths that I heard out of a mouth that of somebody who had to reject work from the Falcons. Reject work from the Falcons because he can't get any workers to work because they're getting sick. 
they're high rotation, or they just don't want to be in the food industry anymore and got into tech and are gone. And the new kids, ain't they're just getting back to school. And they don't really want to be in that tech. They're looking at blockchain too. And when you've got games like Axie Infinity that while I was watching it, and if y'all have been watching me, I saw it at $34. And that's a game. And I was like, I'm not touching this shit. I'm still not touching it. But it's $74 freaking dollars now. So even just holding a game coin for an active game, that feels a lot more secure to me than just speculating on cryptocurrencies, y'all. Can I bet on the next EA? Could I bet on the next Grand Theft Auto? If you play it and you like it and you think talking about it on social is going to get more people in it and you think people are going to buy into the token because they like the freaking game, ain't that a bit more less risky? Look, I bought Cardano. I'm waiting for it to pop. I bought L I'm bu I bought some Elrond because it's a network. I'm waiting for it to pop. I bought some Ethereum. We know ETH gas prices are ridiculous. So minting NFTs, especially game NFTs, now that the gaming sector is in here, is too freaking expensive. I just sold a piece of land and had to spend $68 in gas. For that other game that I said last night, I'm not, a, I'm not getting into. I just went ahead and put my land on sale. Now, I may get back into it, but I doubt it because I see other games potentially getting ready to pop, right? So we're going to get into that. But I want to dismiss the any fallacies that we can have, and, and, and I'm being real with this, as real as I can be. Honestly, as somebody who's been in tech since 1996, I can tell you, having worked at a bank, having worked at a printer company, having worked at a uh, 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 worked at a mu music factory, the g place that used to buy the, the in the source magazines, we used to buy the, har the, the music equipment in the back. I worked at that company. I got a job down there uh, um, as a spreadsheet database entry person. That was my first job in computers. And then I got a graphic design job because I started designing the graphics in Quark Express that went into the source mag and double XL for selling the DJ equipment you used to see in the back of those mags. Then I started designing the CD covers for the guys that you show up on, on MySpace. And then I designed, designed the MySpace um, layouts for those same people. That's how I made money. I got PayPal debit card and I made money with that PayPal debit card during the last recession. So all I needed to figure out was how to make my money and cash out. As long as I had a debit card, I was okay. The fiat of my day of 2000, when I left the bank, because I knew something was weird at the bank. They were firing people way too fast. And I was like, for what? And they were just firing people. And that's how I knew something bad was coming in the last recession. Now I'm telling you, every piece of news I have seen has said next year is going to be hell. There is no physical labor force that can compete in a digital market in which I can get somebody overseas to work cheaper than the American who needs to work for the price that he needs to work because the, the cost of living is too high. But I've been, I lost half my salary already. I'm not speaking as if I'm talking down. I'm not trying to talk down to a soul. I am talking from below you. As somebody who's lost all of that. I can't walk into a place saying I'm a web developer anymore. Not for what they want from me. That means I had to change and pivot. So what did I do? The same thing I did in 1999 when I just watched this internet thing blow up. And I was like, hey, how much is it if I became a web developer? Oh, I could make almost a hundred grand? Okay. Well, how much is it to be a blockchain developer? Same shit. So now if the developers are all gonna be on blockchain, I don't need to be a programmer. I just need to figure out 
what am I going to sell on it? Because what's my exit strategy? I have a card on Coinbase. Let me pull that up. Coinbase. Slide that over here. Coinbase, you've got APRs, bank, and there's also a way to get your uh, they, Coinbase has a card. Since I'm not logged in, you, uh, you won't be able to. But yeah, here it is, card. Introducing Coinbase card. You can earn Bitcoin. Right? So I can earn a card, but then please don't forget, they also have the PayPal side of their business because they have the uh, Coinbase Commerce, which I don't see business here, Commerce. So there's their PayPal. You can add this to your website and you can get paid for it. So you can get direct revenue directly to you for whatever it is. Then if I hook it to wallets and all this other stuff. So this gets you to begin become kind of your own way of accepting revenue. And then you've got a card to cash out. So that's why I've been getting y'all to understand development. If you go through everything that I've basically been talking about on Toxic Hustle, I've been I've been telling you I'm leading you down a path. When I came back into this space, I picked up where I left off three years ago. And I've told you in this last video where I said, building a media empire isn't easy. Three years ago. And I said, earn your crypto, earn your crypto, earn your crypto. Now, and, and we didn't even have a card back then. Now you've got a card. You can cash out. You can go swipe and eat your church's chicken or whatever it is in your zone for whatever you need to eat. So now all you have to do is be able to convert whatever it is into any of the forms that can be in this exchange or any exchange that has a card and you can swipe and eat. And, and of course, because you know we have inflation, the good thing is that, um, go back, go back, go back, go back. Remember, right now we're at 6% inflation rates, anywhere between two to 6% inflation rates. So at least, especially like Ethereum stakings at 5% APR right now until they get the, the whole uh, smart contracts going. Right. So you're already doing something better than what a bank's going to do for you. So let's just understand that the fiat shifted. And then there's no labor, physical labor. We all have to be digital workers. MG makes digital content, whether it be YouTube and or selling of music. His people around him are either musicians or artists or people that like musicians and artists and are all in a digital space. We listen to music tangibly on digital asset platforms like Spotify. We watch YouTube that plays commercials for us. All of this stuff is paid directly to PayPal. That's the old guard. Now, nah, Noel, it came. It's already been here. It was, with, it was here with Second Life. I kept telling my business partner, bro, 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 this Second Life thing is crazy. I'm making $500 outside of the game to my PayPal account. But in world, in world, I was doing 133000 a month. Look. Let me make sure I'm not bull. Look, look, look. let me see it. Make sure I'm not bullshitting you, right? Let's pull up a calculator. C A L C. Just so I'm not I'm not bullshitting. I want to make sure I give you facts, right? I made five hundred. That's what I remember. You multiply it times two hundred and sixty six, which was the actual going rate, one hundred thirty three thousand. I knew I still had it in my head. That's how I was making much in world. Now let me show you something, right? Now check this out. Let's go to CoinGecko. You know where I'm going to get that data later. Right? Now, let's look at somebody who's potentially in position to be one of the latest and greatest gaming sector companies out here. Find ENJ. I know you're there. 74. So now you go to Engine, right? 
you go here, you see it's $2. So that's already two bucks over the US dollar. So if I go into a world where I can earn this at a flat buck, am I not keeping up with the US economy? If I can sell an in-world item for 50, 50 of, it, of it, of people who have been holding this or manufacture stuff in this, or like there's a world in this thing. In this alone, there's going to be multi-verses in here, right? Next energy, uh, I, I, I want to mint my NFTs. I'm probably might go here when they get the, the, they're on Ethereum right now and gas prices are expensive. All these companies right now, we're early, 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 y'all. Like, we're so stupid early. Stupid early, but we're early but late because there's this, A-X-I infinity. Pokemon. Pokemon, mon, 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 mon. This shit is Pokemon. I'm not getting in this because this is not my type of hype. But Ubisoft is partnered with them. Samsung is partnered with them. Maker is partnered with them. Kyber is partnered with them. Ave is partnered with them. That's a decentralized banking platform that earns interest. This thing we're about to go through is a transition. Now, let's look at the coin uh, A AXS. Should be, because I know I, I go, the, the, look at the price. I saw this at like $18 at one point. It's a usable currency. They work it. it they, they have two currencies, this and the SLP token, which is how they upgrade their axes, like how you boost your Pokemon. Or how they breed them. You have to use SLP to breed or some shit. They've got their, I don't know. I'm not really getting into this one. But again, I just look at the feasibility. And again, even if I just bought into the game, which I didn't. and Because I, I didn't understand it. So I'm showing you my ignorance live. Like, I want you to see how ignorant I am because I don't get it either, y'all. I'm old. Like, not old, old. I mean, I'm in my 40s. But this is a young man's game. This is when you're in college. You're playing games anyway, right? Imagine if you were playing Grand Theft Auto and you made money from the heists, but it was in a cryptocurrency and you could cash it out for real cash. You wouldn't be making as much anymore. They wouldn't hit you with like $10,000. But you might get like 50 bucks, and that 50 bucks might be real world economy money. Because their dollar is better than the US dollar, because the US dollar is not, it's based on debt tendered. That debt is labor force tendered, right? Because we're not on a gold standard. We're not pulling oil out the ground anymore. That's why they got foobarred. Because they went to the oil standard thinking they could, they were gonna be able to dig out of Texas forever. They thought they were going to get out of Florida forever. They were going to get out of Louisiana forever. They thought they would just, you know what? Screw gold, because we can't get that no more. We're going to go on oil, bitches. Nah, bruh. You didn't have enough. And then they tried to scramble. Then they tried to go to war for it. And even Russia was like, that's a dumb game. And they were out. They went to tech first. The military complex, which I was a part of, Got into tech. We had Windows in 91. Earlier than that, because I was learning Windows and they had been using it for years. So the tech that they tried to scare you from. Okay, a, a perfect example is right now you go to Walmart. Walmart is the, 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 the PX, the exchange. That's the store in the military base where you can buy everything. You could buy groceries, food, uh, electronics, hunting equipment, uh, hunting knives, guns, all of that. There was never a thing like that until you went to the exchange. And then all of a sudden there was a Walmart or super Walmart. 
it's the exchange. You're seeing it live. All Target, all of that. That's the that's the PX. Everything goes in the military first. So when you see drones now, those mini drones were the ones they had prior to, and now they're letting it out because, you know, governments get contracts first. They get the new new first. Internet was their new new. It was a spy network. Just like the, the cell phone you have in your hand was a spy network. Just like the chirp phones that people were using was a spy network. And also part of the network that used to be used by, um, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, emergency services and, and police officers. They were no longer on that channel, so they didn't have to use that, but so they sold it to the, the telephone company. And then they used it for chirps back in the, the early 2000s. That was an annoying time. So when I look at a tech, I'm that kid that was 18 years old whose staff sergeant, when I was in the military, told me, buy Microsoft at $5. And I said, staff sergeant, who's going to want a computer in their room? Only nerds are going to want to make have a computer in their room. And nerds are not going to ever make any real money. How stupid was I? I was too busy gangbanging back then. Real talk, drink, drinking gin and juice, pumping uh, music out of my freaking uh, car with 12-inch speakers, um, with spinning hubcaps. Oh, God, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, and date that shit. <laughs> Lord, I was whack. <laughs> but now we've got things like this. And I saw something in the news, right? A X I E Infinity, right? And I just saw something in the news, and I think that they are hitting in Philippines. Yep, Philippines looking to tax Axie Infinity because the Philippines, they're paying their rent. And if you look at AXS now, look at the price, it keeps going up. They're paying their bills because third world countries can rock when it's over a US dollar, right? It's over the US dollar, right? Now, I want to show you something, and it's a very humbling thing. When you think that your dollar or my dollar is so important, right? Let me show you the humbleness. The humbleness is called CoinGecko. Where it doesn't really matter how you feel about it. Is this over one US dollar? If you had held it four years ago and just held $100. Would your $100 be less or more right now? I'm not saying do this shit to be rich. Because Lord knows you can't do that to be rich. All I'm saying is if you stuck $100 in a bank, how much would you have made? And if you had stuck it over here on top of a technology that they're going to run applications on. Bitcoin, wrap Bitcoin. Is, is is the programming language for Bitcoin. I'm getting it. I'm starting to. They're betting on the network effect of how many machines Bitcoin has. Remember, Bitcoin is nothing more than a system of machines. See? Hash rate. This is how much hashes are happening. How many tera hashes. You know, like, you know, like tera hashes when we talk about uh, how many gigabytes we have or terabytes we have. Well, there was mega hashes, there was hashes, and now there's terra hashes. We just gotta change the concept of what the number game they wanna play. Before it was how many search engine results that made Google important, right? How many people search per month was important, right? AOL, how many concurrent people were logged in at any given point, right? We just had these numbers that were important for the time. Bitcoin's number that's important, this. How many computers are coming online to hash it out and win the lotto. Again, I tell you, Bitcoin's dumb. It just does mathematical lotto. But in it, there's only 21 million and people are putting hardware on it. And I gotta buy, they gotta buy hardware every four years because every four years, there's a thing called a happening cycle. And I'm gonna get into the gaming but I, I just need y'all to see this. The reason why I talk about it is this time. The last happening cycle was here. 
it in tw in 2016 here see 2016 you can look at the bottom down here look down here and you'll see what i'm talking about see that is the 4th of july of 2016. right around there was a happening cycle then we go to a dip november january dip then we go into a march dip then we had a surge come up that was unusual because it's usually a dip in this zone, but it surged up. That usually is a signal for some reason that there's a pump about to come. We see that happening here. We see that happening here. When you see those, that typically means something's changing. See, pump happened here. Pump happened here. Pump happened here. This happened, but no pump really came. They repressed this. It was Elon Musk knocked that down. But we had a signal for a pump. That means that we're going to have, that's why I'm saying we're going to have a break sooner or later. Right. But this long time after that happening cycle, this time is so boring, y'all. And then November has a, of the same year, which will be next year for us, because this is 2017 happening cycle. This is 2020. See now 2020, 2021. We're here. And now we're waiting for it to go up. We're going to have this run up like we had. Like I said, we're going to have September. We're going to have another run up. Then we're going to have a little bit of a dip in November, and then we're going to have this crazy rocket ship happen. That's why I said in November, December, I'm selling when we get to about 100000 I'm going to put it into USDC, hold it, because when this there's, a, there's always a January dip. And after this happening cycle, it's going to dip hard because December is already going to be crashing. People are going to fear out. It's going to crash, 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 crash. And then there's always a dip in spring, like here. Like if we go to, let's see, this is October 20. Here is February, March. Well, we didn't really have our dip dip, but I mean, there's, but we finally did get our dip. But this is, we're in a happening cycle. So this, this cycle's different. It plays different. It's just always how it's been. So now that you see that it's about to get boring after this thing ends. So what I've been doing is I've been preparing y'all to say, look, don't get gas. Don't get gas on this price. Don't think Bitcoin's going to run forever. After this happening cycle ends, it's time to get to work. Because now we got to think about businesses. Games are here. How do I put things in a game? I might be able to put music in the game, y'all. Like, it's not just about crypto. Again, I want you to earn money. So what do I do? I put, I'm on CD Baby, right? CDBaby.com. And on CD Baby, I can make money on TikTok. I could put my own music in my own shit and then get paid for it. So all my videos in a minute are going to be playing my own shit. I just wanted to build a database first. I wanted a way so that I could take samples from MG and I could use portions of that, give credit, and then as I'm doing stuff in these chains, give him blockchain money and be like, here, right? Now I'm forcing it down your throat and you'll see viability in it. So you can't tell a person that this is going to be good for them and you can make money on it if you're just telling them buy and hold. If I just hand you money and say, here you go, bro. What's this for? Your stuff. Why are you giving it to me? Because I'm making money consistently on it. Where? All these places over here. Here, all these blockchains. It's transparent. I want you to see it. But if you look right here, I put my money, I put my music on CD Baby. Why? Because all this shit is free. If you go to all these other places, ask, look and see whether or not your YouTube, uh, if, you get, if you get your music on YouTube, if it's free. I can tell you, for the most part, all the major ones, especially ones that give you unlimited whatever, whatever, YouTube ain't unlimited. You got to pay that for every single song individually. Nah, bruh, I pay one time and I get it all for free. TikTok came. I didn't pay for nothing for that. I get that for free now. That means my music played there gives me money. My YouTube plays give me money. Pandora gets me money. Spotify gets me money. I just got to get my music on those platforms. Like YouTube. This already happens for me anyway. They do this for me anyway, but I can put it in other things. Like I can give it to other uh, uh, YouTubers and they could use it. And I can get plays. Some of the revenue that they earn will go right to my pockets. So my goal is to scale this all up. Or I can start paying in USDC. I won't even give you Bitcoin. 
I won't give you any other crypto. I'll give you a pegged to the US dollar coin. One that you could put into your Coinbase account, swipe at anywhere you wanted to swipe or go to Amazon and get a delivery to your house or order Domino's from a freaking robot. If that's your thing. Right? So, enough of me yapping. I've given you an hour of why I am getting into gaming. I'm not even going to harp on it anymore because, look, I don't see any other way that people are going to make money. And then I can't see a better way that I'm going to be able to get, like, not just me, y'all. All of y'all producers and musicians, like, think about it this way. Even if you just do sound effects, don't you think that sound effects will sell? In video games, like you don't even have to be the programmer. What if you created the door creak and then people bought the door creak at like 20 cents and then a hundred, a thousand people bought your door creak? There's plenty of marketplaces for audio. Look, A U D I O J U N G L E dot net, audio jungle dot net. Boom. Audio tracks from a dollar. All I'm saying is make your revenue. And then if you want to put it in crypto later, cool. But what I see in a, something like this, this how we start looking is this platform right here, Engine alone, has some games on it already. Now, they still work on Ethereum. They have a wallet. And that is, you can buy, you're going to, you're, I'm able to buy assets in their token for their games right so let's start looking for how we start digging into finding games right um block gaming i showed y'all yesterday um play to earn dot net do, 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 do. and there's one more that i'm looking at d a p DAPRadar.com. Now, these two things right here are going to be your best friends in this space. I have begun starting to look at this as how I find stuff, right? So, again, um, if you look at right now, if I look at Let me show you something. Hold on. Okay, here we go. So here, underneath this tab of all status, you'll see you've got pre-sales, alphas, betas, development, and cancel projects, right? Now, I've looked at alpha before because look at Axie Infinity. The reason why I'll choose alpha is because, hey, Axie Infinity is an alpha. It's working. It's making money. Right, so you go beta, you go alpha, and then you go release. So Axie Infinity is as an alpha. So beta, I work with Blanco's Black Party. That's one of the games I showed yesterday. This game, crazy, is basically a vinyl toy as a virtual game. So if you are into collectibles, right and you're deep into any type of collectible marketing or collectible stuff so as um serious said he was um into what was it beanie babies yeah so like this is something similar and as i said yesterday if you look at pop uh funko funko pop right on ebay if you look at Funko Pop on eBay, you'll see that if we sort this by price, high to low, you've got things that are close to a million dollars, right? You've got 777 for the Soleil Noah Funko Authentic Bloody Freddy Funko Jamie Lancaster, like 32,000 for that. Uh, Funko Ace the Bat Hound for 24. 
Funko Pop Darth Maul for fifteen thousand dollars, right? So you see this big heads, little eyes, right? Big heads, little eyes. Stan Lee signed Funko for twelve grand, right? So if you look at that collectibles and you look at this game, immediately it jumped out at me. Immediately I was like, and then I saw this. Again, a box, a toy in a box. But these are playable toys in a box. But I thought, well, can't they 3D print this in the future? We can 3D print shirts. Surely they'll be able to 3D print functional toys. They can. So in the future, their winners could actually be physical toys. Or you could buy an NFT and get a physical toy as well. These are the potentialities of what's coming with holding a contract token as a digital thing and getting something in a physical representation. What I'm looking at that is uh, saying, hey, if I want to get into um, T-shirt, right? Instead of me selling you a T-shirt because people don't have the disposable income, what if I say, hey, you can buy it in crypto or hold this in your wallet, hold this, buy this token, hold it in your wallet for X amount of time and it mints you a shirt. And if you hold it in your wallet longer periods of time, you can get upgraded versions of that or different variations of that shirt that could get minted for you. Or you could get another shirt minted for you that you could sell yourself. Being a part of the actual economy. What happens if shoes did that? What See, that's what I'm looking at. That now it's not just, okay, how does this system work as is? Like, how does our economy work? Well, we know it's broken. So I can't look at how the economy is currently working because it don't work. What I have to look is what's coming. Do I see, I already see people in third world countries are going to be grinding out earning revenue, playing games, and people are already doing that in Axie Infinity. They're called sponsorships. People get sponsored to, hold on, hold on. You know what? I'm going to show you some shit. Let's show it to you live. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to show you what I saw, and I think that maybe if you see it, maybe it's going to be more uh, direct if you just see it, right? Actually, no, I don't have, I saw, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It was in some forum, but I don't remember. Sponsored. Uh, classified. Sponsors. Okay, here we go. Boom. So I can just kind of looking for a sponsor. How can I help you? Yeah, so basically people how scholarship. That's it. Scholarship. Axis S C O L. Scholarship. Right. You can earn 150 a month from a scholarship. Now, that's not much for us, but imagine for somebody getting a U.S. dollar in a place where their currency, the U.S. dollar is multiples of their currency, right? But think about it this way. They're making $150 a month, period. U.S. dollar. They're paying their bills straight up. They're paying taxes straight up. Scholarships, right? People are looking for scholarship management. They're now making management software. So even in like the data, you can create businesses within the data. So let's start looking like, so I said, there's Blanco's Block Party. Um, one of the things that I've been noticing about this one is the hard, like this time I can't, um, there's every month, um, they have a, a cycle where you can earn one of these um, Blanco's. This one was is a hard one this month, and you have to be perfect every single day, be there every single day. I I'm I'm working, 
I've been like doing stuff at the kitchen. Like we have a we have a catering company and we have a couple businesses. So I'm running back and forth because we don't have enough people. Like right now we've got people that you know out. So I've got to do work. So I can't play games all the freaking time, right? So, but that's why I can't do this to earn because right now one of these damn blancos that you earned is going for a thousand dollars. It was the last last month's earned blanco. And that's where I first saw it. And I was like, holy crap, this is crazy. If we sort it from high to low, this one is earnable. When I saw it go on the market, it was at 450 bucks. It's currently being sold for 900. And I've seen this go, I think I've seen this go up to 1,000. Yep, 1,750 bucks at one time. And you and they played to earn. And you and they earned it. So the next one's even harder. And if this is lower, this minted number is lower, that means it's gonna be higher. But you've got to grind out to play. You've got to be flawless. You gotta get wins. And it's a fun game though. So that's one of the ones next month I'm going to be in the next competition to get that damn thing. Cause if I can sell one of those for a grand and do one of those a month and put that into like my own earn hold on something's going wrong with my 